I want to revisit the concept that we have already seen a few times of developing an AI solution and machine learning applications step by step to satisfy the business need of the organization where you work or your startup if you work for a startup. So stay tuned and let's start. The use case we're going to look into today is Airbnb, the experiences that you can book. So you can say, you know, I want to do scuba diving in the place where I'm going and the recommendations and search of these uh, experiences. In this case, they have developed a complex system, but they've done it in stages as the system that we look before for Pinterest. Uh, there are a few things that are very interesting to look at. One of the layers that they look at, at is the layer of the data that are available. So day number one, there's not so many data. Day number one, lots of people are not logged in into the system, or maybe some of them just came to searches and they, they book the experience as a non-logged user. There is not a lot of historical data, so there is a limitation. And therefore, they start uh, with what is called a offline system. So a system that calculates the ranking of the experience and what every person is going to see as list of experiences that are suggested in a way that is done let's say once a day they have some rules and display these uh, suggestions when people come online but it's not personalized it's not at the individual level so one is the data at our disposal the other layer is the type of features that actually are uh, utilized over time so what they do is they go from looking at the use preferences but also the query preferences and when they do this they go basically in stages and they get increase in booking so for example when they go from a non machine learning solution to a machine learning solution they get a 13% lead then when they start to consider more features such as experience features and user features they get an additional 7.9% lift in booking and then the third thing that happens is that at a certain point when the number of historical booking is higher and, and, and so it's possible to make more data mining on what are the trends that people go through, they introduce an online system. So a system that basically provides an individualized recommendation for that person based on not only the preferences that the person has historically uh, shown, not only the settings that are, are touched on the screen, but also queries and other data that are related with that person account. And so the decision is made real time or near real time when the person is typing in the query about the experience that uh, the person is looking for. So, and that uh, additional evolution brings in another 5% of booking from the beginning to the end. There is about a 50% increase in booking, more or less, if you like, and it's just a rule of thumb. What are the uh, things that we can learn from this example? First of all, as I said many times, don't get fixated with deep learning day number one, especially if you are in a hybrid position like a product manager, or even if you are a business person that is in charge to deliver value, like in this case for Airbnb, this is big money. Okay, this is really big money in, in percentage of booking. And these are very special money because these are what we call the ads in. So in business, you have the cost of acquisition for a customer that usually is absorbed by the main service that you sell. So let's suppose that it costs you $20 to sell a, a $300 booking, okay? But then if on top of those $300 you can sell more, okay? Anything you sell more, the profit on the thing that you sell more is usually much more than the profit on the first part of the service, on the basic service. So it's a very important thing, increasing 50%, 60% and up sale in an online business like this. In the end, it's very similar to e-commerce. I would classify it almost as an e-commerce. So don't get fixated on the deep learning. Also, as a business person, you have to have in mind this data strategy. So what it means, it means that you won't have all the data immediately and you have to have a strategy to capture more data over time. So having a strategy of incentivizing people to log in in the hub, to come back to the hub, to interact with the app more so that you cultivate an environment of an ecosystem of data that grows. Then the other thing is definitely have a strategy to evolve the way that you measure 
things because while the end of the game KPI is the number of bookings, in between that KPI and the various features that are measured, there are lots of other parameters and indicators and so you have to kind of evolve the way that you measure all these various results. And finally, you have to have in place also a strategy for tagging these various data and, and utilize this data in a way that uh, it's feasible and that could introduce some costs. So the data scientists can solve this, but usually uh, where you will find that it's necessary to intervene as a manager, as a product manager, is streamline the process, making sure that they account for what they need, the amount of data that they will need, what that will cost, how much in advance the preparation has to be done, because typically, in my experience, the data science, the engineers, they're gonna act in the minute that they need it and then they introduce a delay in the process. It's gonna be two, five, six weeks of, of delay. So you have to have a strategy for all these many things. I hope this is very useful to you and uh, I'll see you the next time. But remember, if you wanna create the right mindset to think the correct way and manage projects in AI, manage a solution, create products, create processes, then the right place to go is my course on Inodemia. Click on the link and get the course. Thank you very much, I'll see you next time.